Good morning, I'm Jen Amos at Weiss Research, and this is your morning market update for Friday, May 27th. Andy Myers is off today. Stocks on Wall Street opened with small gains following data on personal spending and income. Consumer spending rose four tenths of a percent in April, slightly below estimates and the smallest increase in three months. In addition, much of the gain was due to higher food and energy costs. Meanwhile, incomes grew in line with expectations and have now risen for seven straight months. But both income and spending were revised lower in March. A closely watched gauge within the report. Um, son of a. Son of a, son of a, son of a. Yeah, no. your shirt out. Good morning, I'm Jen Amos at Weiss Research, and this is your morning market update for Friday, May 27th. Andy Myers is off today. Stocks on Wall Street opened with small gains following data on personal spending and income. Consumer spending rose four tenths of a percent in April, slightly below estimates and the smallest increase in three months. In addition, much of the gain was due to higher food and energy costs. Meanwhile, incomes grew in line with expectations and have now risen for seven straight months. But both income and spending were revised lower in March. A closely watched gauge within the report showed that core inflation rose modestly last month. Stock investors seem to be having a somewhat positive response to the data, but it may also be reinforcing fears that inflation could put a dent in consumer spending, the biggest component of economic growth. Inflation is also on the minds of the group of eight members, who are finishing up their two-day meeting in France today. They said that the global economic recovery is gaining strength and becoming more self-sustained. But the sharp increase in commodity prices and their recent volatility poses a significant headwind to the recovery. The concerns about inflation are boosting treasury prices this morning and weighing on the dollar. The dollar's weakness, in turn, is propping up commodities prices even further. Right now, crude oil is jumping to around $101 a barrel, and gold is trading at $1,530 an ounce. But the decline in the dollar is not just due to concerns about U.S. economic growth. It also reflects growing confidence in the euro. One factor driving that trade is optimism that Greece will be able to push through more austerity measures in order to get another round of financial aid from the European Union and the International Monetary Fund. But Europe is also getting a boost from a report in the Financial Times saying that EU banks may get a break from tighter capital requirements included in the new Basel III rules. Turning to corporate news, Marvell Technology Group is jumping more than 10% after the chipmaker issued an upbeat earnings forecast for the current quarter. That's outweighing a 29% drop in net income in Marvell's latest quarter. And some more news in the semiconductor industry may move a couple other stocks today. Analog chip designer Skyworks Solutions is buying advanced analogic technologies. The price tag of more than $260 million represents a 52% premium over Analogic's closing price yesterday. This morning, the stock is jumping 55% above the offering price. Shares of Skyworks are modestly lower on the news. And finally, stocks in the telecom sector may get some help from questions about the proposed merger between AT&T and T-Mobile USA. State regulators in California are looking into whether the controversial $39 billion acquisition will benefit consumers. Earlier this week, Leap Wireless voiced opposition to the deal, citing anti-competitive issues. Overall, movements in the markets today may be a bit exaggerated. Trading volume is expected to be light ahead of the three-day weekend. The markets will be closed on Monday for Memorial Day, and so we'll see you back here on Tuesday. From everyone at Royce Research, have a fabulous holiday weekend. Excellent. You wanted that fabulous, though, didn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's not laughs> <a> <laughs> All right.